Welcome back and today we're talking about The Last Dungeon Boonies Episode 7 You know, that anime with the super long name And I will have to say right off the bat I was a little bit disappointed Now, this episode wasn't bad if you, if you know what this anime is all about I mean, this anime from the very beginning Was all about the fun, the lightheartedness And just how OP Lloyd is, right? I mean, just imagine this Lloyd character who's supposed to be op i mean absolutely crazy and we know he's absolutely op he's getting a part-time job uh cleaning a hotel that's part of the comedy it's funny and i do like that aspect of the anime but last episode we did get a really good ending scene where essentially they were setting up like the main villain of this anime and i was really loving that i was really loving that there's a, a villain character that's trying to actually open the last dungeon whatever that means and also destroy alka so that's a big deal because alka is she's on a whole different level she's like a god in this world right so they were setting up a pretty good villain and i definitely wanted to explore more of that and coming in into this episode we absolutely didn't even touch anything regarding that mysterious character or alka now before we jump into what happened in this episode let me remind you to like and subscribe it definitely helps the channel out and of course i greatly appreciate it now this episode it was all about lloyd and his part-time job it was a living part-time job and we see that riho was trying to shoot her shot trying to ask lloyd out for a date obviously celine got jealous and celine she's on a whole different crazy level she wanted to burn her house down just so she would have an excuse to not go to the little meeting that she had to do and we're going to talk about that because i thought that was pretty funny as well she wanted to burn her house down so she could go on a date with lloyd and spend time with lloyd i mean celine is just on a whole different uh cr crazy level for real so lloyd gets to that hotel and that's where we find out that there's a problem in the hotel right uh, some of the customers are going into a comatose state and and that's a big deal for a hotel i mean let's be real if your customers are going into a coma yeah that's not good right you're gonna lose a lot of customers so that the hotel has a little mystery around it and of course lloyd is going to try to solve that problem and now they could still connect all of this to that one mysterious character from from last episode right he could have his hands in all of this and i just love how all the characters in in this anime they always go to like the worst case scenario. We got to meet a new character named uh, Kikio. And she's in league with the noble that came in. Essentially Alan's father. And she's investigating the comatose uh, state as well. She's investigating that mystery along with the noble that came in. And that's all good and dandy. But they all think that it was Lloyd that's responsible for, th for this, right? There was a, a demon lord seed that was stolen. They think somebody consumed it. And, you know, that's why they're so powerful. And, of course, they are going to think that it was Lloyd. It's very funny. Uh, maybe Kyo Kikyo is going to do something. Maybe she's the one behind it. Who knows at this point? But I do hope that whenever this mystery gets resolved... They kind of tie everything together back to that mysterious character. Because I definitely do want to see that villain. I definitely want to know more about the last dungeon and what that means. And you know, if somebody's strong enough to take out Alka, that's definitely going to be a threat. I've always wanted to see Lloyd actually fight at 100% power. I actually want to see Lloyd try. And I know that's not what this anime is all about, right? This anime is about the comedy and stuff like that. But I wouldn't mind seeing Lloyd actually try 100%. Now, the one thing that I was really laughing at, of course, is Celine and her whole proposal, her whole marriage that's being set up by her father. She is due to marry alan and she hates alan i mean everybody hates alan at this point he's not even like a like a minor character like he only shows up for like a couple seconds each episode he's kind of like really irrelevant in this anime this anime feels like essentially lloyd is getting his own harem and i believe alan is like the other male character that's kind of gets a little bit of, of screen time uh, but not too much but yeah celine is due to marry alan and of course she's dreading it and i'm telling you right now when she was about to kill him when they were sitting setting up that meeting and she was ready to go and attack him she was waiting for those fire bombs to set the hotel on fire she wanted to do whatever she could to get away from that meeting and you know be with lloyd i mean i thought that was funny again celine is the type of girl you need that type of crazy in your life at least once uh and celine she would definitely meet 
that crazy criteria uh, criteria she's on a whole different level now at the end of the episode since they are trying to investigate what's going on with the hotel you know C celine comes up with the idea since lloyd is supposed to be like in a marriage proposal kind of you know what i mean he's stepping in for alan because he was kind of like in a coma he, I, I believe he was affected by the comatose state or maybe he was in the hot tub too long and he overheated whatever the case may be celine is using this as an opportunity to go on a date with lloyd and of course you know lloyd is like the most oblivious person ever like every girl in this anime is in love with him right maybe not mary uh, mary might not be in love with him but alka she certainly is and Celine, of course, she certainly is in love with Lloyd. And Rio, you can definitely tell that she has some emotional feelings for him. But she's kind of like the, the cool-headed person in this anime. She's definitely like, you know, being cool about it. I mean, even the scene with the massage, I thought Rio was going to jump all over that. But, you know, she didn't, she didn't go for it. And I thought it was funny as well. I mean, this episode definitely had a lot of funny moments. But I really am excited what's going to happen next episode. Because, again, once the whole mystery is over, they could potentially tie it all back to that mysterious character i'm sure by the end of this anime we're gonna know who that person is what his motivations are and the reason why he wants to open that last dungeon that's like my main motivational uh for this anime i really want to know what that character is doing i'm glad they introduced like a main villain and i'm pretty sure by the end of it we are going to see lloyd go full out and you know he might actually be the strongest person in his village but his power is being suppressed in some type form or way and if they open the last dungeon can you imagine and i know we're get, we're heading into some crazy theory right now but could you imagine if when they open the last dungeon like lloyd would unlock all his powers like imagine if they do like like a twist like that where essentially all of lloyd's power was locked inside of the last dungeon and that's why he's kind of like considered the weakest one in his city because since his powers are like locked in there you know he can you really use it and that's why he's so clumsy and stuff like that we'll see where it goes but for this episode, I was a little bit disappointed because I did not get what I wanted. But at the end of the day, it was still funny. It's still kind of, uh, you know, staying by its roots. It's, it's doing a service for what this anime is all about. A nice little chill comedy anime. But let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of this episode. And like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.